Hey guys, hey guys, how's it going? Um, <laughs> yeah, take it back, my bot's been a potato apparently. Um, yeah, welcome in, welcome in tonight to the uh, Q&A that we're going to do. On Ash with a six months sub there, cheers buddy. Um, I just thank Cyril and um, TeamSpeak as well uh, for his sub, thanks a lot man. Um, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, there you go. And easy, there's your uh, chicken dip, we'll take yours back off you. <laughs> Okay, so we'll we'll crack straight into this tonight. Um, we've got in the room with us tonight, obviously myself. We've got Ash kicking around somewhere, angry keyboard yeah. typing. What um, do you mean? I just no. Yeah, angry, angry keyboard typing. We should have um, a two second delay as well, so it was being live to actually you guys seeing it. Be around about two seconds, so the chat should be pretty pretty up to date. We've got Monkey kicking around. He won't say a fucking thing, or I'm going to murder him. Wow. Right, so I'm Murder Monkey. Uh, we got Cyril, and we've got a good old weed on. Hey! Wow, oh, that hard. was loud. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, boss. Oh, boss, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's so much appreciate all the subs, guys. I miss that German voice. Yeah, we've, we've got a bit Fuck of... you, bitch. <laughs> got a bit of, you know, a few of the nationalities with us tonight. Um, see all you guys and girls have flitted in, that's nice to see that you're all here. Um, okay, so as we always do, we'll start with the fucktard questions. Um, the ones that we've deemed are kind of retarded, stupid. I don't want to hear probably it. Probably shouldn't have been asked, so we'll probably ask these ones to weed them. Um, I mean, you know, he, uh, he enjoys answering these ones. Um, who are the most tryhards in the USA realism roleplay? Like, why would that even be a question? I think, it, I think it depends on, on what you're referencing to try hard. I'm going to guess that you mean who tries the most at roleplay. Um, it's a very good question. Cause I, I, Me. I, I mean, I, I, I don't really play enough to begin with to even answer that question, but if I was playing, I would say me. Um, <laughs> As a fucking puck? <laughs> but I, think it, I don't really know if anyone has that much of a decent character that you can define them as tryharding at role-playing. Um, yeah, Jamie, I... Jamie with Michael Fiddlesticks, probably. There's, there's, uh, I, honestly, I don't think there's really an answer to that question, because I think it entirely depends on um, I mean, who if you're it, asking it to. If we're going on the pure, like, uh, is, you know, who tries the hardest at role-play, I mean, Weedham, for sure. I mean, he tries. Fortunately, he's still trying. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's I mean, he statement. does try. He tries. I mean, so technically, try, try hard. And you don't succeed. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll move on. Um, I'll ask this one to you, Ash. All right. Um, oh yeah. Why the fuck did you bring back Weedle? Now we're all gonna die. 
Oh, so that's an interesting one. A very, very, very interesting one. Um, I'm and crying. Is we really don't know. Um, and we, like we coin tossed. <laughs> yeah, we like we were like, I guess we can bring him back, see what he can do. Uh, and no, I don't. In all seriousness, I don't think we have a, a natural, real reason for that. It's just he was a senior admin and. He deserves to come back if he feels he has more time to deal with things and we brought him back. And that's how it is. And so far, uh, you know, that's how it is. I mean, we brought him back. Because I'm the best. He, he was one. <laughs> and we, you know. Yeah. There we, isn't, there isn't just really took a, a break, an really. He came yeah, back I mean, into where he left. I mean, he didn't, he didn't get thrown out because of like, any misjudgments or um, anything he'd done wrong. So, I mean, it was just apps that he come back to the right position but left. Actually, they in. begged me to come back because they were a little bit frustrated begged. that the... Uh... I mean, begs a bit strong. I mean, I remember having like five or six DMs over about five or six days. Uh, yeah. are, are, you, are you taking me back yet? Are you taking me back yet? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I'll out you if you, you want to go the other way. You come back. <laughs> Okay. I don't, now, I don't recall there being any begging. Now this this is an interesting one because I mean, Cyril, does your wife want to become an admin? I mean, because apparently you have to date an admin to be an admin. No, my it's wife don't town. understand what you, I do on here. Are you sure, man? I mean, we she dates you, right? So we can make her an admin, right? Well, that's what I this mean, question that, alludes to, anyway. Where it goes, I suppose so. See, I'm, not, I'm more. In, I don't really care about the question. I'm more interested in the context that led up to this question, because I'm interested in who they think is in a relationship in the staff team. Uh, I'm pretty sure they think it's Alice and Trevor, because a lot of the new people don't know who she is. She was oh, gone for well, a while. yeah. Well, she's been around for a decent period of time. Uh, I mean, I. I I don't know. I don't even know if they're in a relationship, technically. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, uh, who knows? There's, there's, there's no one in the staff team that's been bought in because you date an admin. But, I mean, Weedham um, is more than happy to take people uh, people on dates. I mean, just hit him up in Discord. DM him anytime. He'll uh, take you out on a date. Whoa. I mean, he even pays, all right? Oh, is, is Trevor as well? Depending on his outfit. Okay. Um, I tell you what. I'm gonna ask the next one to chat. I'm gonna ask it to. I'm gonna ask it to Luke. All right. Just uh, say hi if you're there, Luke. They're testing the the quick delay. Come on, the quick, quick delay. Testing. It's got to be there, man. You look red hot, by the way. You're not even yeah. sunburned. I'm sunburned, mate. I'm sunburned to death today. Yeah, look, there's look Luke. Crap. Woo. Perfect. All right, um, so Luke, when are you going to ban yourself? Yeah, well, I mean, the question was when are you going to ban Luke? But, yeah, but I mean, I mean I'm making him ban himself, so when are you banning yourself, Luke? I mean, to make this person happy. Bet. I don't yeah. think bet is a period of time. I mean, <laughs> Luke, Luke hasn't... <laughs> He has it. fucking DM'd me on Discord, take me out on a date, fuck <laughs> uh, Yeah, garb garbage question again, I mean. I mean, um, they, these are all, this is the ding ding ding, ding garbage ass question section. Yeah, we, we just like to get, no, they, they didn't put the name funny enough. Um, I mean, none of the admin team will be in the admin team if they were doing stuff um, wrong. Um, people do have moments where we do things wrong. Um, but we're all human at the end of the day, as long as it's dealt with and it doesn't happen again. Um, and there's not a succession of things in, but a quick succession of um, I'm quite happy with the staff team that is. Yeah, I mean, nothing there. Um, okay, these next two questions are absolutely... Okay. 10 out of 10. I mean, not even 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10. What do you call 500 penguins in Trafalgar Square? That's mathematically impossible. But, yeah. Sure. We'll, go, we'll go 12 out of 10. What up? Is, okay. is, this, a, is this a joke? Or... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, man. I mean, it's a question. It come in. Um, yeah, we, we just we quickly fly through the silly questions just so people don't feel like they've been left out. Um, 
Okay, will Ash RP on the server more now that we can have our own pet dogs? Good question, Jamie. Uh, no. I hate to break it to everyone. I, I, don't, I don't really have the time, <laughs> and I'm not really interested in a roleplay at the moment. And having pet dogs isn't going to stop me from transforming into a dog anyway. So, I, I just... Yeah, I don't have... I don't, I'm not going to roleplay more, because there's pet dogs. But, um, no. No is, no is a short answer. Hate to break it to you. I know people love seeing me in-game, but uh, no. Sorry. Yeah, uh, fun, funny enough, all the questions in this first section um, either get you know, either get submitted as anonymous or nothing. No names. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. You always forget. Oh, what? Some, someone actually named that one? I don't know. I haven't looked, to be honest. I grabbed, I grabbed the trash ones, chuck them at the top, we get them out of the way. No one feels hurt. Uh, one of the other guys might have a look for the name on it. Um, but I mean... Okay, so... Fine, we'll name and shame him. <laughs> we'll name and shame him. Okay, but we'll we'll start cracking on into, like, the gen... This is general section, I mean. Uh, we just grab stuff that doesn't really fall into the other category. Um, so, yeah. We'll run through these. It was from you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh. Third question. Yeah. That's why it went into the third section. Um, Excellent. Right. Okay. So yeah. Um. How do you tell someone in character that you're feeling uncomfortable with the RP? I mean, that's kind of interesting. I mean, personally, um, it depends to what level you're feeling uncomfortable with the RP. I mean, if it's gone down like the extreme categories that we sort of class as like your um your rape RP. Um, sexual RP and that all your extreme stuff. Um, if you're not feeling okay with it, just come out and you know say that you're not okay with it. Um, yeah, I mean, as much as we don't like to break character in the server, I think for me this is one of the times where I'd accept it. It depends, I'd say, on that though, Jamie, on what you define as being comfortable with somebody with you just because one it depends on the scale of it like i say well this is it i mean um for me you'd I want mean, to tell them it in it's, rp it's the that extreme, you're uncomfortable it's the extreme rps and it? it's like you rape rp and stuff like that something oh, that's yeah. going against you will i mean that sort of thing um if it's if it is the extreme that is actually a rule but i mean um go ahead and Go ahead and say something. I mean, that would be about the only time I'd accept someone breaking character. Say that they weren't comfortable. I mean, even though it's nice, if you feel like absolutely uncomfortable, I mean, feel free to do a report and say that you're involved in some sort of RP that you, you don't feel like comfortable with, so long as it's extreme. I mean, I know we're kind of sidetracking from the question a bit, like talking about in RP, like RPing, saying that they're uncomfortable. Um, uh, and it, and it's difficult. Um, it isn't. I don't think it's something that's simple. And again, it, it does come down to um, the severity of the situation. And I think the most simple way is that. I mean, again, the, the issue with saying you don't feel comfortable with the RP is like sometimes. You know, it, it's not only taken away from someone else's RP, so long as it isn't extreme, but it also gives you an excuse to break character to an extent. So. Um, it is situation dependent. Um, I just make hints that, um, you know, you aren't interested in, in what's going on right now. Um, you know, someone goes, oh, do you want to rob a bank? And like, you're not interested in that. They go, no, I'm okay. Thank you. You know, um, but I think in most circumstances where you're trying to tell someone you're uncomfortable is going to be in a situation where it's quite severe. And I would say that to an extent, breaking character would be okay. Yeah. I mean, that's it. oops. If it's getting proper in stream and you're really feeling uncomfortable, like it's getting to the point where you just log off, then say something, don't just suffer through. But I mean, if it's part of a situation and you're just a little bit uncomfortable and you, you've, you've got an opportunity where you can back out of it within character, then try and do it. Um, I mean, absolute last resort, say that you're not happy. If they still persist to do it, you slash report as much as I hate to say it. And if one of us is around, we will come and do it. Um, it shouldn't be happening. Especially if you've got your point of view saying that you don't want to be involved in it. 
um, at the end of the day, we we're here to look after this whole. I think we I think we killed the hell out of that one, right? Yes. Okay. Bye, detail. Yeah. Um. Okay. So someone put in. I wonder why he can't use the entire map to role play. Um. <clears throat> I mean, we haven't built Trump's wall anywhere. It's not like we've stopped um anyone going to Mexico or anything. I mean, go down to our and RP. Um, we haven't added stuff down there just yet, but hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully we are um, going to try and move the whole map rather than just the city up. We've had a few modders in the past that have come in and built walls and things. Yeah. I mean, the, the map is, it is open. You can get down there. Um, there you go. They've just done a wedding down in LS. Um, I mean, Tequila Bring Lil back is... the models, else I have <laughs> Tequila Lil is still there. Um, I mean, everything's still down there, guys. Um, you've just got to go down and use it. I mean, it is a little bit of distance to travel to get to it. Is it worth it? I mean, probably. I want to fight Modus again. Who we don't. Ooh. Um, okay, anyone want to add to map? Uh, yeah, um... Go down there, you lazy git. That's my response. Perfect. There's just no cops are out down there. So. Yeah. I mean, if we had if we had a perfectly fine enough police on, I mean, yep, I don't know, six six or seven on at a time. We could send people down there if we knew people were RPing down in the city. So yeah. It's just don't go down and do all your drugs and sell to all the locals because you know you get caught. That's the one thing we don't really have. Yeah, and that has popped up a couple of times as of late, so just a reminder that shit isn't okay. I own the strip club. Okay, yeah. We'll uh, keep swiftly moving on. Um, okay, so I'll put this to everyone except Monkey and the... Uh, um, in all of your, in your opinions, I feel like the server's dying. Uh, I guess I'll tackle this one. Um, I, I, it's an interesting question. Is the server dying? Um, as, seriously, Doc? Seriously? I think Doc wants to join in. <laughs> as someone that has Doc been here said, yes. the longest Nothing out of everyone that's currently here, um, we've there always been phases of changes occurring and those changes not working out, so alternative things need to take place. Um, we had an exact same situation before where we had a whitelist server where the server died out once we whitelisted and we needed to open up a second server and then the server became active again. Um, so, you know, I mean, now that we have a more a more varied skill set of the staff team, um, we, we can look at alternative options, you know. There's a few things that, you know, we can look at. I mean, Mini Punch has developed his... Um, coding skills, you know, he's managed to figure out some more stuff that we can work on and add to the server. Um, I, I, I don't think dying is the correct word. It's just going through uh, a different a different kind of time frame at the moment, a different kind of outlook um, and a different amount of players. And I, I don't think dying is, is the appropriate word because dying implies that there is an opportunity to change, and that you know, it, it, there's nothing like you have got you have got nothing left. But um, you know, uh, in short, I don't think it's dying. I just think that we have to make some changes and see how those changes improve uh, on our on our numbers and on our active player base. Can I just follow up on that one really quickly? Because people asking if the server's dying, but yet. There's like 25 people sat in chat at minute watching what's going on here, and every one of these people play on server. Yeah. So, I mean, this is it. You know, <laughs> I don't, I don't personally feel like the server's dying. I feel like we're going through some uneasy times at the minute. Yes. Um, I feel like the problem is all of us as a player base. I include the staff team, and that in that, I mean, Weedham um came up with basically last last night we had a we had a senior admin meeting. Um, there was Ash, uh, Weeder, Minnie, myself in there. 
Um, I think Tim. Tim was even there as well. I mean, um, we all we all had a big discussion. I mean, the fallout to that meeting will become apparent, um, but obviously we're not going to release all the details just yet on that. Um, but we had discussion about the ways we want to try and move the server forward. Yeah. Um, in the meetings, we'd have actually come out with a point where he was like, well, when I get in and I see there's like three people on, I don't want to get on the server. So I don't. I mean, that's the issue. I mean, if we'd have sat there looking at it and saying that there's three or four people and he doesn't want to get on, I mean, if he got on, that'd be five. And the other guy that sat there and looped as well, it makes six. I mean, the more and more people that jump in, um, just because it loops quiet doesn't mean that there isn't a few of you sat there because you sit in Discord chatting when it's quiet. I mean, I I appreciate we all have lives. Um, me and Ash will both sit in Discord and chat in the day, but we'll be at work, so we won't be able to hey, jump into the server. I mean, work is a loose term for Weedham. Um, uh, I'm I'm only joking there. Wow. Um, yeah, this is what I'm saying. I mean, that's that's the sort of mentality that I feel is causing the issue at the minute. Um, more than anything, is the fact that we decide that we're not gonna dive in there and try and try and do it for ourselves um we want to see it booming and full um if, i mean obviously we put the vote up and asked if we should go back to whitelist uh if we should stick whitelist or go public at times um so yeah i i personally feel that the whitelist could work um but we all need to make the effort to get our asses in there um promote the server Instead of just being, uh, can't be asked because three people in. Like I said, you know, you go in, that's four. The next person that looked to make it five, it just keeps coming up and up and up. Um, any questions that are asked in the chat right now, one of us will grab, we'll copy and paste it into the document. We'll get some more at the end. I've um, already got it. I've yeah, put it on. I thought you might have. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna elaborate a bit more because this one actually said um, how do you plan people how do you plan to get people to RP over gunplay? Um, I can't do that. <laughs> that is that is the player base again. Um, I mean we could just take we could take guns out of the server. I mean that would force people to RP or leave. But I mean. Um, to some degree, the, the guns in the server are, are now a nice aid to enhance some of the RP. Yeah. Gunplay's a, a very, very difficult um, one to tackle. Just because it, it, is, part of the, it is part of the game, um, the gun set. Um, but it's the person sat at the end of the trigger at the end of the day that <clears throat> either pulls it or doesn't. I think in that instance, I think people are far too quick to call gunplay sometimes. Yeah. Just because someone has a gun out or they're aiming, it doesn't mean that's gunplay. Like, yeah. we're, only, we're only talking gunplay when someone, instead of RPing out a full-blown situation, just shoots someone. That's gunplay to me. Like, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I guess you could argue that as RDM, but it depends, obviously, that's situational dependent. But having someone having a gun and pointing at you or holding you hostage or trying to chase you with a gun, that's not really gunplay. I mean, if, yeah, the shooting whilst people are driving, I mean, if people are doing that, then, you know, I, I feel like a lot of the time people are going to have a reason to do that, especially if they're in a, you know, a, quite a hefty, you know, chase. Um, but again, it's situational dependent, and I wouldn't argue that's necessarily gunplay. That has more RP potentially, because, you know, we have the law system, and if they get caught, then... You know, that could be argued in a court if they want it to. You know, there's so many different options that could become someone using a gun. that It's just saying, oh, stop using gunplay. It isn't a valid argument or a discussion. Um, you know, just be a bit less quick to judge someone having a gun. You know, it could enhance the situation. Um, I mean, at the end of the day... If you do feel like someone's using a gun too much, then, you know, maybe you want to talk to them and you know, talk to them and suggest some different RP scenarios inside and outside the community. Um, definitely, I wouldn't approach someone in game, maybe. Uh, that might go down wrongly, but certainly, if you feel like you have some more examples and can potentially help someone improve their roleplay, then go ahead. I mean, we're not going to stop anyone. Um, but, yeah, stop calling gunplay all the time when it isn't necessarily gunplay. Yeah. Drop, drop someone a quick DM and just, like... 
have a conversation. I mean, I mean, um, I don't even buy a gun anymore. I kill people with my friendship. No. Friendship. Huh? Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm for that as well. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes a gun gun adds to it. Um, yeah, I I quite often pull a gun out. I'm never intending to shoot the thing when I'm on one of my sibs. Um, so yeah, it gets pulled out as a threat. Probably never going to get used. Um, but people will just whip theirs out of the back pocket and just like place three rounds in your chest. And you're like brilliant, nice one killed the whole of the rp that we were gonna have um but yeah i mean it is what it is people sometimes seem a little bit too eager to win rather than let the rp play out um we sort of nailed two questions um in one here or maybe even maybe even three more or less um there, there was a couple of questions here how we how do we plan improving um improve us times for rp uh, it's been getting weaker and weaker. The, the numbers are dropping. There's basically three questions about numbers and what way we're moving. Um, all I can tell you at this time is that we've listened to the community. Um, we we did a separate vote for the staff. We did a separate vote for the community. And we sort of took on board both sides and worked out uh, which direction we thought would be best to try and move in. Um, we managed as easily as possible. Um, with the systems we've already got in place we don't want to just involve a load of people and then it become chaos but yeah the fallout of that will become apparent over the next couple of days guys that was what the whole friday night meeting was about but yeah i feel like we've nicely flown flown through the general section um okay we'll move into the police we've got the under sheriff with us cyril so um we'll let him take this one so um, it seems there's a lot of complaints about BCSO. Um, what will be done to help them work better with the community? Um, just exactly what we're doing now. We have training every two weeks where we go through scenarios, where we go through dealing with public, where we go through all that sort of stuff. Um, I think the question's a little one-sided. Uh, perhaps if people behave better, sheriffs wouldn't have to be on them all the time. If everybody weren't just going out and doing criminal shit all the time, you wouldn't have cops all over you. I, I, I don't know other than that what they say. You know, the complaints that are dealt and the complaints that are put in, we assess, we look through. If there is things that need to be said, then... Oh, what's Bert saying there? I'm not sure, man. Um, I mean, Luke just brought up a decent point there. Um, what's that? I mean, none of them have any patience. They instantly want to book people without any real investigation. I mean, I kind of agree with Luke there. Um, that needs bringing to us, then, yeah. because it should always be done properly. Yeah. Well, if this... the person requests lawyers, the only way that they can get away with not bringing in a lawyer is if they've seen them commit the crime then there's absolutely no point to a lawyer at that point. That's why at scene I always get people to, and I literally ask them if they're guilty or not guilty of crimes that I'm charging them with. So, you know, it is on the cops, but we do have training every two weeks to try and get role plays the most important thing. Yeah. Absolutely. The I mean, I'm with you there. Um, I, I've still seen it personally. It's something, something I've jotted down that we need to keep pushing out in training. Um, I mean, obviously, you'll see we train every other week um, on a Saturday night. We we are trying to push this into the people. Um, maybe maybe we need to go into um, some scenarios when we train that aren't quite so clean cut. People maybe need to be shown here's the situation now you've got to investigate to figure out what happened um, and get to the end but yeah um oh so yeah anyone want to add anything to the pcso i mean there's me ash and cyril here that are all fairly high up in it wow i'm the best policeman i mean best server right now both <laughs> 
Yeah, no, I mean, I think you covered it fairly well. Um, you know, I think it just comes down to pretty much it's a two-sided street. Um, I don't quite know what's going on right now. Um, um, trying to go. Um, in regards to in-game, though, you know, I, I, I know we're having this issue whereby apparently there's some sort of revolt going against the BTSO. Um, I don't quite know where that's come from. Um, but if it is happening, then, you know, we can look into it. Um, but, I mean, again, it all comes into it in character, really. I mean, if it becomes extreme, it becomes extreme. But, you know, um, I think it's a two-way street. Yeah, we have the training sessions, and, and we do what we can to kind of push our agenda to get more role play instead of being a cop. Um, so, yeah, I think that's that's more or less um, that. The BTSO, right, all these um, pe- yes, all these people saying it's horrible. Explain to us why through the right ways. Don't just say it's horrible. Say why it's horrible and what we can do to fix it and put it into something. I mean, there's, there's very few cops that most people like. Um, I mean, IRL terms. Very few cops that someone that's a criminal will like. That's um, it. They're all so, they're all criminals. Going, I don't yeah. like cops. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, that's not going to happen much, is it? Though. No. Um, I just want to. While we're in BCSO, I just want to grab McBert saying that they've got. He, uh, I'm guessing what guessing what Bert's asking is. Um, he would have got banned for using third party comms if he had asked for a lawyer, I'm guessing. If I've got that wrong, uh, let me know. But um I actually had a a short discussion in Discord this morning. Um and we said the the only thing I can see if you jumped on the Discord and asked someone to come in and be a lawyer, like to join the server and be a lawyer, I can only see that enhancing the RP. Um so I wouldn't have an issue with that. I mean you're in jail, you're in the cells, um, you can ask the officer to dial the phone, um, dial a phone number. You've got a phone call in there, so yeah, why not? If you need to get a lawyer in there, absolutely. If you need to pop to the Discord and ask someone to come in and be one that's available, then um, perfect. I mean, please feel free to do that when you're in the jail cell. Don't be going and doing it um, like willy-nilly on the way to jail. Um, wait until you're in the cell. Ask the officer that you can do it. Um, and if you're going to do it with voice, you're going to drop, drop into a channel with someone, um, then make sure you're talking within games because that, that officer would hear your phone call from your side. Um, so, yeah. Let's let's try and do that. I mean, I don't want it just to keep exploding in chat. I mean, yeah. And on that point... Um... I think people need to realise that there's only about four lawyers right now. Three, I think. Three or four. Three or four. Three or four. Two of them are EU. So if you're asking, I don't know, uh, like 4am for them, Cyril or Jamie is going to be around. They're the two EU lawyers. So you've got Luke who might not be around. Or maybe... Is Jesus... Jesus on Catnip is also a lawyer, but I don't know if he's playing anymore. So you've maybe got Luke around. Or Jesus. So I mean, you can't... Don't go off on a tangent because there isn't a fucking lawyer around. Um, you know, if if one's available, one's going to be available. Ask them if they're in game. They're in game. Um, there's there's so many multiple reasons why someone might not be responding to you, other than like fucking someone being like, I don't like you. It might be I don't know. Spoiler. It might be because there isn't one available. Where there, where there isn't exactly a a mass selection that you can choose from. You don't have a fucking Craigslist ad of all the available lawyers around. User joined your channel. Hello, user. Um, on that point as well, um, I think it's important to realise that there are other people on the end of the on the end of the screen, um, and not everyone has the time or capacity to be around like everyone else. Now, I know there's a lot of players on the server who are in it 24-7 and expect other players to be in the server that much time. And I'm sorry, but you can't expect people to be in as much as you. And if they're not around, they're not around. Don't try and get arsed with them and try and cause problems because there isn't someone available. Yeah, I mean, uh, Strix, um, we're talking jail cells. So in the PD, you're in a jail cell. It's locked. Um, That's the sort of time you'd be calling for a lawyer. Get them down to represent yourself there. 
mean, we've got judges within the city now as well. So, I mean, if you want to be heard in front of a judge, if we can get one on and we can get it done, then brilliant. So, yeah. Um, I think reports are getting brought up. We'll cover that a lot later on. We'll nail that at the end. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think we've, we've nailed the police stuff there, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, I just want to quickly add to um, Zav that it's on the training agenda about calling for lawyers and stuff like that for next police training. Yeah, we we don't want to see him slash me calls for a fucking lawyer. You want to? We want him to tweet out. We'll get that pushed out. I mean, it's a week until we train, so we'll actually get that put in tonight. And we'll tell them that they need to be tweeting out. I mean, some of them hate when they see Cyril online because they know they're going to. Get I mean, that's part and parcel of um, being a cop. I am so confused right now. Um, on on the point, um, I believe since kind of ties in the BTSI, I believe it was um, Quinn that mentioned it's bullshit that cops can break character in TeamSpeak. Um, they're not allowed to break character in TeamSpeak. Um, so... If you have proof and evidence of someone doing that, make sure you report it and let people know. They will be dealt with. Um, we're cracking down on it hard recently because there have been multiple instances of people going out of character and going into the dispatch channels. And, and here's a public service announcement. <laughs> the dispatch channels are in character, so make sure that they're kept in character at all times, please. Yeah, I got, I got fucked already. I got... Uh... Yeah. I dragged you out of the fucking dispatch channel last night and fucking bollocked you for it. So yeah, everyone gets treated the same. Weedham got dragged out of one, told not to fucking go in there. I, I mean, mean I just told Rimka that he sucked. But... Yeah, he was only he was only going in to tell Rimka he sucked or something, but it was breaking character. It was breaking what we've actually laid out. So I dragged his ass out of there and fucking shouted at him. Yeah, I mean, it happens. Um. Yeah, it is being dealt with. We're trying to keep them radio channels up there as in game. Anyone that's in game should be in them. Um, anyone that isn't shouldn't be. All admins are extremely reportable. Trevor's been close to being fired before. Um, I mean, he wants to admit that in chat. So yeah, he hasn't been a million miles off. Um, Dude, ask Blackie <laughs> about that. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few people. There's a few people that have had issues. I mean, um, we've literally had yeah. to get rid of people because they've been idiots. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything, but like, I don't know how more obvious it could be given the current circumstances. Like, there was issues and we dealt with it, and you had to be removed. You know, what I mean, that has happened to multiple people. You know, it, 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 they're not untouchable. And if you think that, then <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't. Seriously, like we we do deal with people that are causing issues. It is a thing that happens, Absolutely. and there is <laughs> and multiple proof of people that have been dealt with and then gone into general whatever and caused a ruckus. It's happened loads of times. So yeah, Don't okay. Let's let's try and try and move away from all the drama that seems to be created. Um, okay, so there's actually an EMS question. I mean, I haven't got a Heather with us, but. I mean, we can try and tackle it. Um, how to interest people to get employed in AMR, so in the EMS department. Uh, give them guns. Give them guns? No, you are fucking... <laughs> uh, if it wasn't for Twitch's new TOS, I would be a lot meaner right now, okay? Let's <sighs> leave it at that. When I turn the stream I would be a mess will. if I had a gun. Give them mini guns. yeah. I mean, that sounds perfect, right? <laughs> um... Okay, so yeah, I mean, um, I know something I've asked Mini last night um, was Why? to was to put the timer, the actual death timer, up to um, ten minutes, so that you're lying dead for ten minutes if there's EMS online. Um, should there not be any EMS online? Um, yeah, if there shouldn't be any EMS online, then it'll be back to its three minutes. Um, so yeah. That's something we're going to try and bring in. It'll hopefully increase the amount of RP that our EMS department gets. Um, but again, that's down to our player base, whether they're going to sit there and actually call for the guys, or they're just going to bitch and 
lie there and wait for it. And I think on that point, there's only so much we can add, really, um, mechanic-wise and, and um, server-wise. I mean, we we just added in the new um, EMS and fire um, department members can now saw open doors, so it's yeah. an option for them to so that, and chances are will pay a little bit. Um, you know, we're looking at more. I know vehicles don't really enhance roleplay and get people in it, but there are somewhere in the lines of server development. There's a few vehicles that we're potentially adding in for the EMS. Um, so, but these mechanics, you know, if they're not getting people involved, then there's only so much we can do mechanics-wise. Um, it comes down to the player base, and you know, if the player base isn't willing to get involved, then you know, there's only so much that can be done, really. Um, but yeah, we're we're doing what we can. Um, there are multiple things in the in the potential guidelines uh, well, upcoming that may may solve some issues, but let's see. Yeah, we're we're trying we're trying to bring things forward with y'all. Um, so yeah, like increasing the timer. Hopefully, hopefully have some effect on. It. I mean, realistically, it's down to the guys and girls that are running the EMS to um, have a massive push at that side. Try and try and bring some more people in. I think if EMS wore bikinis, I mean they probably would. But I mean you've got a lot of blokes that are on EMS, right? I'm sure, everyone wants to watch blokes running around in bikinis. Um, yeah, I mean I seen I seen people putting tasers and stuff. Um, I mean you should. Yeah, defibrillators, not. Yeah, tasers. I mean a de defibrillator would be nice. <laughs> But I mean, you're all saying tasers because you want to tase people because you feel threatened. I mean, that's sort of the the wrong sort of attitude. If you're going into a volatile situation, we'd like to think you've called for the BCSO. What if we bring in olive oil? No, we don't. You're just being stupid. Or. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> tasers for murder kitties. What? Yeah, I can, I can kind of see your point there, but. I mean, I'm thinking, so fucking fight you. Bombs. Don't, don't even fucking entertain sticky bombs. We do this every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe maybe tasers would be able to um, come into the ammunition, and then that'd be down to the EMS um, command staff to choose whether the, they allow their EMS to roll with tasers or whatnot. That's down to their manning policy and what equipment they say you can use. Um, but it'd definitely be a personal bomb. Yeah. So yeah, I think that pretty much covers the uh covers the EMS one. Okay, so um Yeah, no no one gave us crap, um Zav exactly. I I think the 10 minute timer should have a little bit of a difference on that. There's a little bit of work to be done to get that in. Because um, as everyone's sort of aware, your FPS plays a bit of a part in how long your timer is at the moment. So we, <laughs> so we just need to change that um, for some reason. Take until now to change that. So yeah, we'll, we'll try and get that changed. No, from now on, when you lock it back in, you, you, you die again. The same amount yeah, yeah. of time. Um, <laughs> yeah, they they catch a ban um, if they come back logging, if they get caught. I mean, people have caught bans and um, the, te the ten minute timer. If you if you're listening, but um, literally the ten minute timer will only be if there is EMS online. So if they see if the if the server sees that there is someone online as EMS. Um, then the timer will be 10 minutes. If not, it would be down at Um It's just to try and enhance some more RP for the EMS side. I mean, we're very selfish um, in some ways that we just don't want to lie there. Let these guys and girls enjoy their role play. I mean, they give up their time as much as the rest of us to do it. So why not? I'll give something back to them. Um, yeah, the kitties or everyone. Trust me, I know all about Baby it. bald eagles. Baby bald eagles. That's what you used to get as in police. Um Okay, so <laughs> we'll move. We'll move on into um, 
we'll move on into the like the dev sort of section. These are th these are questions that we sort of um, think are relevant to the dev section. Um, I'll just post the Trello link in the chat real quick, so you can find everything that's been worked on, or everything that's in plans, or everything that has been done um, within that Trello board. And um, that's the main Trello board that we try and keep up to date. So yeah, if you ever think about suggesting something, it's already on there. Please don't, because it just spams up the chats and get really annoyed. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, the first question that come forward was, what plans do you have um, for the future of the server? Anything you might be working on at the moment, or is it a surprise? Um, nothing's a surprise. That's the Trello board. Um, everything is literally on there. Um, it's public for all of you to see. So yeah. Just visit visit the trolley board and you'll see exactly what we're working on and what's coming. I'm not actually 100% sure what's what's coming up at the minute. I haven't been on the trolley board this week. I mean, on, on my side of things, uh, I'm sure some of the testing group would know this, um, but uh, we recently discovered that you, know, you can add in custom models. So some custom models might be on the way, um, some add-on vehicles. Um, there's there's also potentially a um what was it an anti bunny hop script so people stop spamming their jump key yeah um anyway um so so yeah we've got custom models add on vehicles um and potentially uh spamming of the jump key may be in soon but I don't know what soon is given uh yeah how uh how Mini's development cycle works, although he's very busy, uh, and you know, we can only badger him so much. Yeah, I mean, um, we have only got Mini at the minute that's developing for the server, um, and he's sitting exams and stuff at the minute, so I mean, it's unfair for us all to expect him to be able to dig out 24 7 um, when he's got, to, he's got to concentrate on the rest of his. Um, hey, wake theory. up! He needs, um, he needs to, he needs to be able to concentrate on the rest. So, yeah. Let's just give him a little slack, man. So yeah. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll keep flying through these. So, um, just one more question. I have to say they've definitely asked a question. Already. I bought a house for a month ago in England. Um, twenty fourth of March. And today, one month later, I find someone else has bought it. Um, how does the system work? Because I had 50k on me the whole day, 50k in my bank, but apparently the rent didn't drag off from somewhere. Not my house or my selfie. Um, and now another guy owns it, sad face. Um, okay, guys. What happens with the properties um, is that you at the, at the minute, you have, to be a, you have to be in the server when they all reset. Um, and you have to go back to the... Uh, back to the house um, and buy it there and then, I mean, out of your own pocket. It won't automatically take, um, but something I've asked many personally to try and implement is that when your property expires, you get a 24-hour grace. Um, you get a 24-hour grace period um, where that house won't be buyable for anyone but yourself. That's That's something we personally... I think we need to move forward and try and get in um, sooner or later. Obviously, you've also seen um, that now it's a maximum of five properties. So, I mean, that could be five businesses or five houses. That's it. I can't purchase anything else. Hopefully, that'll try and alleviate some of it. Um, something I will warn you all on, though, is um, if, you've got the, if you've got the stuff in your house, um, it'll disappear, it'll go um, when that house gets sold. So, to make sure that that stuff isn't in there. Yeah. I mean, it's it's fucked many people over. If it isn't, if it wasn't due to expire at the time, I'd say put a re, put a, um, what's it, a refund request in. Uh, Mr. Mr. Trevor Leahy, you'll deal with them. He's pretty efficient with them nowadays. I think HD does a bit of dealing. Oh, Mr. Leahy. Mr. Leahy. 
Um, oh, you got 10k from someone else's property. Awesome. So, um, yeah, it might actually be the case that it stays in there and you just pick it up as a house clearance. Um, brilliant. I mean, honestly, you want to see what's in some people's properties. Um, okay, so yeah. Um, is it possible to um, add in that we can do uh, slash swap when you're in the morgue? Yes, absolutely. We've actually asked for this as well. Um, I've seen this come in It's probably two or three weeks ago now. Um, it's definitely a good idea, especially with the fact that we're now saying you kill your character, go to the morgue. So I mean, there's no, no punishment in going to the morgue. I mean, there's no reason to make it, so you've got to re-log. Absolutely, we'll make it so you can do slash swap. Um, but we all need to be as honest as anyone. Um, so you need to delete them characters. Um, if I catch people out doing it, I'll go in and delete your character for you. Not got a drama doing that. Anything? Anything for that one? Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, D DOS will be will be working. It. We like, add new things and things can break. Um. Okay. Is the airline pilot job far away? Um, and when are we going to be able to own aircraft? Um, I know it's on the trial site, but is it like further down the line or the next restart? Um, I think due to the issues, what we said earlier with the player base, I think it's not really needed that you fly somewhere with a plane or something like that, you know? I mean, I'm. I'm no, I think there, that's more like lower on the list right now. Possibly low on the list. Um, it'd be nice to have that you can own your own aircraft, so you can go off in your helicopters and do your little own adventures. Um, but I mean, that's more of an RP situation, so I'd like to see you to be able to own them, um, instead of renting them. Um, but I honestly don't feel like an airline pilot job is going to increase the RP. I mean, we add scripted jobs into the server, and nothing comes of it. I mean, there was one guy back then, I think half a year ago or something, he had, he made it, so, um, he was, uh, flying from Sandy Shores to Los Santos, uh, airport all the time, but he made it, like, private, he rented that plane and was getting, like, money from it, from just flying around, having, like, um, sightseeing and shit, that was kind of funny, though. Yeah, but that, that's again that's sightseeing. That, that's a different. I mean, an airline pilot job. I I don't see if we add it as a scripted job, make any enhanced RP. Buying your own private aircraft and putting a rental, uh, a tour business. On. See that mate. RP. I mean that would that would be so much work. Imagine someone just flying in a plane or uh, in, a, <clears throat> in a house or something, and like ten people dying and. Yeah. And EMS has to drive down from Sandy Shores or Palito Bay to the city just because he flew in a side, uh, in a skycrapper or something. I don't yeah. know. I, I would be very impressed if me has actually made even the slightest bit of an attempt to start <laughs> working on airline pilot jobs. There's yeah. so, so much on the Trello board that, like, there isn't really a, a, yeah. a set in stone <laughs> what's coming out soon. It, it Unfortunately, I mean... It's only a one-man dev job right now, and Mini works on what he works on at a single time. There isn't, we don't have a set in stone set of things that are coming out at X amount of time. They're like they're, they're I mean, exist. and and as as all you could uh, could see, he's working on pro uh, like pets where you can have your pet on back on your car and drive around and shit. That's kind of high end shit. Yeah, I mean, stuff takes time. I mean. Um, I know I've sat down and um, helped, helped and done a bit of like work myself with Mini. Um, you sit down and you're like, yeah, this will this will only take me like two hours to do. Um, four days later, you find you're still fucking doing it, and you found another fucking buggy. You gotta try and work out. Um, so it's ne it's never as simple and as quick as you feel like it should. Um, sadly, sadly, it just doesn't happen. Um, if everything was just like, yeah, it's a two-hour job, that would fuck out, you know, that brilliant. Couple, couple of lines of code in here, a couple there, done. Then you try it, it sort of works, but you put a load of errors on some other stuff. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's never, it's never as simple as you want it. Yeah. 
Um, is there a way to get the money in your house to auto pay the rent when it's time for the new payment? Um, something we possibly could add in the future. Um, but I think if we can get the 24 hour grace period, I think that'll stop, stop being such an issue. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, I think that'll stop being such an issue. Um, I mean, I kind of, kind of like the thought that you've got to come in, pay your landlord, um, rather than it just that you comes out the house or something. I mean, that's sort of plausible as well. But then, I mean, why would someone ever give up a property like Go Postal or um, LS Customs? I mean, it's sort of sort of monopolising the businesses. I mean, if you get a small group, I know Luke's got a gang. Um, I mean, what'd stop the the Bargos? Going out, buying all the profitable, uh, profitable businesses, um, and just keeping them forever. I mean, I kind of like the fact that there's a bit of competition in there that you've got to get in and um, get that business. Or you know, even after 24 hours, if you fucked it up and it's gone, then yeah, it's gone. I can I kind of like that. Anyone want to weigh in? Hey, right. Uh it, yeah, no, I I don't think um, that it, it's a two-sided coin. So the thing is, right, the being able to um, rebuy a house is good for the homeowners, right? Wait, like within the period, not being able to rebuy a house for homeowners is good for people that don't own properties. So it it's it's a two-sided coin, really. Um, Ideally, I think in the in the in the best case scenario, I think we have it. So it's still this system. However, the timing is a bit more coherent and makes a bit more sense when it when it comes up for sale. So you can time that sort of stuff. Um, but again, I, 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 it's it's not being able to rebuy a house during a period is only good for the person that owns a house and doesn't involve anyone else. Which I mean, is a good thing for you, but it kind of stops other people owning those properties. You know, so it's it it isn't a simple solution of just make it so you can rebuy and then everyone will just own the same properties forever, especially with the way the current you know money is again, um, where it seems everyone has millions to throw around. Um, you know, no one would ever have a property after the people that bought it currently. So um, I, I don't think that it would be ideal to allow people to continuously just rebuy houses. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely so. Okay, that sort of brings us uh, to the end end of the dev section. Um, these are sort of questions that didn't really fall into any other place. Um, there's only there's only two of them, um, and then we'll go on to the the late questions. Okay, um, so can we get can we please get a non a non entry no entry sign um, at the police station and fire station instead of a sop sign? Uh, would make more sense for noobs. I think if you go to the BCSO, there is actually um, a no entry sign. Um, no I think... trespassing, I think is. No, there's actually like red no entry signs on signposts. Oh. Um, what? Yeah. Okay. But I think but... the fire station might have stop signs at the gate. But I mean, it's a big gate. People know that they can't go through big gates. Um, they're locked. And my cheeks are so red because I'm sunburnt to fuck. But if you listen to what I said, I said having a way that we can make the time that the property becomes available for purchase again is more coherent to when you bought it rather than it being a random time at, for example, 3 a.m. US time. Um, it is a two-sided coin for someone who doesn't own a property and can never own a property because everyone has a property and no one wants to sell them or get rid of them. It is. It's literally, it is. We have people that bought about 10 plus houses at once and they no one else could buy them. It's a separate issue, I know, but imagine if that person could keep buying those properties every single time the property is reset. No one would have houses. It works the same for individual people. So if we can get a system where the timing is a bit more coherent and makes more sense when it's available for repurchase, the individual that owns that property can time it better and get there at certain amount of times. Currently, yes, the timing system is a bit weird, Properties don't seem to go up available for purchase when they should be, or it takes two restarts, or whatever. So, 
if we can confine it so it makes more sense and it's more logical, then that would be the ideal solution. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the the no entry signs and that. I mean the stop signs, gates and stuff. Um, I mean they are there, so yeah. Let's just leave them as they are. <laughs> I mean I could just see. Freedom's gay friend all through my chat right now off magic. Um, okay, someone actually asked, this was a really late question then. Um, why is drag place and unseat not something everyone can do? Um, it would really enhance many RP scenarios. Um, I don't feel like dragging someone around, placing them and unseating them, it enhance their RP. I mean, it might enhance yours or the way you feel about the situation. Um, so, I mean... I don't feel like everyone should be able to do this. But yeah, the jam is to buy but, a rope and yeah, tie I was, people's I was hands up. Come to this one. If you've got them tied <laughs> up with a rope, you can place and unseat them. Um, them commands actually work for you. Um, so yeah. Um, the the dragon all that works when you've got your hands tied together, um, and you can be placed and unseated. I mean, I've done it to people um, on a Civ character, so I know it works. As soon as you tie them up, you 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 get the place and unseat command. I mean, even the admin and the staff team haven't got the place and unseat commands um, until someone's tied up. It's not a you've got these, we've got them. Um, the BCSO and the EMS have got them because I mean it's part and parcel of the job. They've got someone detained or they've got someone injured that you know is unable to assist themselves into an ambulance or. The handcuffs so they're unable to put themselves into a car and um, that's why them two have got it i mean because it's really broken when you're like hey man i've put handcuffs on you can you please just sit in the car for me now yeah that doesn't work which is why you guys have also got the the place and the unseat command for when yeah the, the hands are tied up I and mean, you can do it all of a sudden um so yeah it is there for you to use um, and it will enhance if you've kidnapped someone, definitely. So yeah, it's just about using it and knowing about it, I guess. I mean, I don't think there's anything else that needs to be said on that one. Unless anyone's got it. No, no, covered it well. Yes. Usual for Ash to talk. Okay. Um, okay, we're just into like, these are, these are the late questions that come in. Um... <coughs> I think Cyril's going to nail this first one. Um, I'll just read it out, um, and then we'll let Cyril go for it, okay? So, um, word for word. When the fuck are people going to be using lawyers more? When cops allow them to... Uh, allow them to <laughs> sneezy. When the deputies allow us to, John Ram. Not yet, buddy. No legal rap, it's easy. I know for a fact, if I was in jail and messaged you on Discord late last night, come to my aid... BS, nothing would have happened. So I call BS shenanigans. Um, yeah. That lot were what I copied out of chat that other people were saying after people should be using lawyers more, and I completely agree. So he's put it there again. What's he put? Um, someone oh, that's off. a different one. Right. Right. Yeah. Let me just let me just steal what Bert's coming on because I mean that's like the Go on. the running off with fucking squad cars and stuff. Um, Hennifer, are you still here? The reek, you still still sat in chat? I'm gonna I'm gonna out you right now, okay? Um, Zareek caught a ban for fucking doing exactly that, taking a fucking cop car from behind the SO or something like that. I mean, so staff members get traded. Just the fucking same. Um, again, someone runs off from the friend. But yeah, they don't get released from cuffs. I mean, we're looking at trying to script somewhere that you can go to get the cuffs released. Um, using a blowtorch or a grinder or something like that. So yeah, hopefully we can get that in. Go for it, sir. I'll take the lawyer. So, with that, 
Um, people don't call for them. Um, the last few arrests that I've done and took people down, I arrested both the Kalashnikov brothers. Um, and to say that you're not offered lawyers is should be ludicrous to say, because everybody should be read the rights if they're questioning you. In which case it says in there, you have legal obligation to have a lawyer if you want one. Um, if there are lawyers around, you should definitely be using them. But the other side of that is I've spent hours on my lawyer wandering around, bored to fuck, because nobody calls me, and I see people arrested. Well, there's, again, there's, I've trained three US um, lawyers. Yeah. There's actually more US lawyers than there are there UK is, lawyers, so don't, please US. don't, Bert. Um, you've got Brian, Brian Barnes is one. Yep, um, Brian Barnes. Luke is one. Luke and Jesus. And Jesus, I mean, Jesus seems to be taking a, a break. I mean, the, it it's, is, We've still trained more yeah. US lawyers it's, than we have uk it's there for anyone to do i mean go into go into discord and type exclamation mark lawyer into the chat it'll ping you an application i mean we just need more people um to do it uh brian was on yesterday um so he was on while i was on for a little bit and then he come off uh, sorry i came off and he was still on i mean people are on um doing it but again, um, people have lives and they can't commit full time. So um, he isn't just on no pixel, but I mean, people go to different servers and play in different places. Um, I mean, if you just want to be constantly negative about stuff, I mean, it's fine. Um, but don't keep bringing it to everyone. We're not going to decide, we're not going to force people to play on USA. If they want to go for no pixel, they absolutely can. I mean, that has always now. happened. It happens now, it happened back then. Nothing you can do. I know this is a Q&A, but are people literally coming in here to flame server and stuff? Because that's what I tend to be seeing at the minute, and it's a QA. and a It shouldn't be about that, guys. If you've got problems, you should be going to write channels about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you want to flame the server, guys, I mean, it's not really the same. By all means, if it's a question that you want answering, then please do it. But, I mean, um, just keeping coming up and up. Um, need more of a robust U.S. presence. Okay. So we need more U.S. players. Um, this is This is what we're trying to do for you, is we're putting all the mechanics out there the player base needs to take the mechanics and use them. I, I'm not going to stay up till 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in my morning um, to play on a lawyer. I mean, Cyril can't do it. He's got to go to work. Um, the US side of the server needs to grab its bollocks in its hand and go and do some of these jobs. Apply to become a lawyer. Um, apply to become a cop. Apply to become EMS. So, I I understand what Bert's saying. It's USA RRP, not UK RRP. I completely understand that. I don't understand why the EU seems to have taken over a US server either. But the fact of the matter is, it's not through our doing that that's happened. There are no hardly any US people coming on at night time sometimes. I see it with six, seven people in sometimes, and it's killing. I mean, in that sense, like, what, what, what do you want us to do? Do you just want all the EU players to stop playing? Like, that we can't force Americans to play on the server. Like, we, we, we can't say, look, here we go, guys. Let's just stop everyone that's from Europe. No longer can play on the server. We've got to make sure it's US. Like, we, there isn't a solution to that. But what about the whitelisting going public? How does that look? Again, if you were listening earlier, Jamie said that there will be an announcement sooner in the week, probably in the next couple of days, um, in regards to the decision that was made during the senior admin team. Uh, that, that's, that's how the Whitelist and Going Public, how's that look? That will be, you will have an answer in a couple of days. So yeah, I that's mean, been discussed. We sort of like nailed it all together earlier, the Whitelist and Going Public. We had a meeting between all the senior admin and myself as well, um, and we took into took into account the public vote that we made um we looked at what people 
people's opinions were. Um, so yeah, I mean, we, we've sort of taken on board and we've come up with the best solution we feel that we can manage. Um, so yeah, we're not looking at going whole fucking public server. That isn't going to happen. We like the priority queues, the whitelist side, um, a better environment. But and something will be pushed in the next few days about the direction we're taking. Um, there's a couple more things that need to be done before we go firm on what we're doing. So we don't want to come out tonight and be like, yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, promise you the world, and then in two days' time be like, uh, sorry guys, we can't do that because we haven't got the stuff in place. That'd be unfair on everyone that gets the hopes up towards something. And so it's not that's something I want to do to anyone. Um, so it's not something we're going to do. We're not going to release it to you guys in the Q&A like hey guys you want some hot new juicy gossip um it'll be announced within the discord um and we are trying to um help the quieter times i mean it's not just the us times eu times are quiet early on which is why weedham decides not to come on and play um, wow. so yeah um yeah but what are you talking about what are you on about? The past hour and a half has just been you saying statements that aren't backed up with any points. I've been on this server more or just as long as most of y'all, so just saying everyone tried to pull out seniority, so the server came online in April 2017. I've been here since June 17. I remember when a lot of guys left. Not that it matters, just saying. You're goddamn right we left. We absolutely left. And plans fell apart. We came back. And we've made changes and improved on many different situations. And if you can't see that, then that's on you. But we came back and we've, we've come back to try and lead the place. And we've made decisions. We've spoke to the community. We've, we've decided that the community wants these things. So we're going to take them into account and make those changes. I don't know what point you're getting at here. But I, I don't know what point you're getting at. And again, this is a Q&A for people to make questions on the form and discuss things about the server and situations and how the BCSO is doing, how the AEMS is doing, and all this sort of stuff. It's not about releasing your inner anguish and drama about how you were displeased about certain things. I mean, you know for a fact, you know for a fact that we don't not discipline members of the staff team. You, you know that fact. Okay? So don't bring that up anymore, please, because it does happen. So I'm, I'm kind of done with this kind of creating drama in the chat and moving away from points and trying to bring in negativity when we're trying to make changes and put positive points all over the place. It, it doesn't help anyone. It doesn't help anyone. I'm sorry, guys. That's all right. Um, we, we understand um, that the US time's struggling. I mean, all the service staff are making these points um, aware. Um... I'll grab yours in a little bit, um, Dave. I'll actually show you um, like the timescales and that that we ban people for things. I'll drop that up on screen for you. Um, but we'll just run through all the others. Yeah. Okay, okay so yeah. Um, let's just keep flying through. We'll just ignore the drama that decides to keep hitting us. Um, more people try to speak their way out of traffic stops instead of just being away like um i like talking more than just chasing and shooting honestly i wish people would um i enjoy it when i hit a traffic stop and i'm like i wonder if i can talk my way out of this in some magical way um but again that comes back to um the fact that people decide to just I don't want to say shit lords, but some people are just like, I've got the fastest car in the world, I'm going to spin round here, I'm going to take a left, it'll be on Great Ocean, I'm just going to go for miles until um, they can't keep up with me. I mean, that sort of annoys the hell out of me. Um, but again, that's on our player base. If the player base doesn't want to, doesn't want to interact with the cops, they just want to fly off, um, then they'll just fly off. Yeah, I mean, again, it's down to you guys. Um, something else we got dragged up. 
Um, so we have a, are we having a mechanic job or what? Um, it's something we've been asking for. It's something we've definitely said to many. Um, I really would like um, to see a mechanic job come in where if there's a mechanic active online, your repair kit would have maybe like a 5% chance of working or something like that. So the percentage massively drops. Um, so that mechanic right. gets called into a job, or even if the repair kit just didn't work, um, the mechanic could then come out, pick up that truck or car or whatever, take it back to a repair station that he wants to use, repair it, charge some money for it. I mean, I'd love to see that as a job. You don't need it as a job. Well, you go hire a tow truck, go to the shop, buy loads of repair kits, go and charge people more than your repair kits cost. Mechanic, ta-da! Yeah, I know, but I mean, what's to stop people just doing it themselves using the repair kit? That's the one, isn't it? I mean, they don't, they don't have many in them now. I get caught out yeah, all the fucking time. I, I do as well, but I mean, some people are like, oh, I'll just wait, I'll just go and get the next fucking repair kit from the garage. But no, I mean, it'd be free to them then to go and do that, and they could charge a small fee. But, I mean, it's it's something we'd like to bring in a mechanic's job to enhance the tow job. Yeah, but we kind of like Cyril alludes to. We sort of already have it if you RP it outright. Just cost you a bit of money. Okay. Um, will the lawyers just be getting paid by their clients, or will they have their own job? Um, currently, a lawyer is is own, he makes his own firm. Um, you can make firms with each other split the money and give each other a salary but at the minute they're just living off the $250 paychecks that they get and for the foreseeable future I think that's the way it's going to stay to be honest um, realistically they should be charging their clients for the, for the job that they're, well for the services they're providing what do you reckon? Yeah, it just comes down to people not being lazy, um, you know. But at the same time, I mean, we have asked for more in-depth uh, in-game mechanics for a mechanic job, and it just comes down to um, Mini getting down to doing it and, you know, working it out. Um, again, he's a single developer, and he's got, like, so much more stuff to do, um, you know, with his own life and everything that's coming in at once. Um, you know, and unlike No Pixel and Family RP, there isn't a, a development team that deals with multiple different things. You know, it's it's Mini Punch on his own. Um, we try and do some small bits like the custom models and and um, some smaller scripts, but new stuff basically comes from himself. So, you know, it it's kind of it's a case of. It will come at some point, but we don't have any idea, and we kind of we want it to happen, but it's all kind of what ifs, really, and whens. So there isn't really an answer to that one, but there are alternative ways to do it. So yeah, Maybe I mean, no, that's it. I mean, uh, I mean, I I try and pick up and help many where I can. Um, but it's. It's so fucking hard, man, to pick up a whole load of code that's in front of you and be like, um, where do I fucking start? That's that's the hard bit. Um, a delete character, I believe, is fixed. But don't quote me on that because, I mean, it gets buggy at times and seems to do what the fuck it wants. Um, it's just some issues that we have with the database and the server talking at times. Um, and for some reason we use fucking um, in Java and stuff. Yeah, and I've heard that you've offered, I mean, he's a busy fucking man at the moment. He's, um, what's it? He's he's working. School's. That's what it is. He's got, a, he's got a plan for the rest of the Okay, um, so the next question that come up. Um, so it's okay to kidnap EMS, hold them at gunpoint, 
and make sure they don't help our Leos. That's okay, right? Um, I mean, I don't like the idea that you want to um, stop someone being helped, but yeah. I mean, if it's RP, well, no, I don't could RP it. that out, yeah. I mean, I've had it done before where I've been running around um, as a, um, what's it, as an EMS, where I was held at gunpoint and told to help all of his friends up first help his friends first and get them all sorted um, and then he'd leave me and let me sort the cop out later I mean so yeah absolutely if you if you RP it right then um, sure um, we did have rules about like um, one EMS and all this and that I mean just be sensible you can't really go on if there's cops or not anymore because there is no way to tell if there's cops or not on the server. So, I mean, EMS and cops being kidnapped sort of is a little bit fair game at the men. But what I'd say is, if you know there is only one EMS on the server, um, don't go fucking kidnapping. I mean, it might be fun for you, but think about the three or four other people that died during that time um, that are going to be lying there for ten minutes. I mean... If you were one of them people, you'd be pretty pissed, right? Just because you decided to have um, half an hour's worth of fun or something. I mean, go and find something else, man. Go and find something else to do for half an hour instead of deciding to pick on that one. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to say, yeah, you can kidnap them, but just be a little bit thoughtful about the rest of the players. We're not... We're not just one, we're a community. Um, oh god, body cams will hit that last. Um, let me just get the temp and time scales up real quick. Okay, um, I'll switch my display capture on real quick for y'all. I think it's at the top anyway. Don't want to work on this one? Brilliant. I'll go click it. Okay. So what you see on the screen there now is um what's it? That is that's uh how the admin staff um deal with the cases. Okay. Um so each one of the rules, the 14 rules that we got within the server um, it, it gets dropped under any of them rules um, and then there's your duration of ban that's within hours um, so your hours can all be added together if you break three or four rules um, then three or four will get added together um, amount of points for a ban so you get points towards it if you I don't know like RDM someone you get yourself five points and um, that gets logged on another sheet that I'm not going to show you because there's a lot of information on there that's sensitive like people's steam IDs and things like that there's there's a there's a log of everyone that goes on it that's been banned temporarily um so yeah um you'll go on the points get added up if you reach 10 um most cases as soon as you hit 10 that becomes perma you've got to reapply reapply whitelist everything like that i mean it's in big big red letters at the bottom there um and it does say if you at the bottom duration of ban and points add up so if you break three or four different rules, you could be ending up with like a nice big old ban, but there's a good chance it'll just be going perma because it's only 10 points. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the, the new times. We we had a bit of a discussion and we felt like the we hadn't quite low to start with. People were not even noticing. This is sort of coming more into line with other other servers and stuff. Um, that sort of temp ban people for a couple of days time. Um, Zave, if you've got a question, man, just drop it in the chat and we'll pick it up. We haven't had Q and A. Um, what do you think of changing the unban thing? Uh, you'll have to elaborate more on that one, man. Okay. Okay, so that's that's that done. Oh god. Um. Like, I'm just saying three examples, I don't think it's good enough. Um, the the unban appeal, 
Uh, it each each admin deals with them in um, different manners. I mean, some of us all ask for three or four different opinions. Um, uh, but yeah, you don't be doing don't be doing toxic shit to get yourself banned in the first place. It's <laughs> yeah. the easiest way of doing things. Yeah. No banner appeals to fill in when you don't get yourself banned. So, yeah. I think uh, <laughs> it's important to know that the, the unban or the ban appeal isn't made to intentionally be difficult to be unbanned. We're not wanting people to not play on the server. We're just... The ban appeal literally... Here's some, here's some key information for you guys. The ban appeal is literally just a way so we can get people to realize that they're fucked up. Sometimes that ban is what people need to be like, okay, this shit is serious now. Um, we've given multiple, multiple chances because... We don't want people to feel like that because they're fucked up, they're not allowed to play anymore. The ban appeal is there as a way to gate those people that can't be bothered or don't want to put enough effort in. I mean, asking three reasons for something, for a rule they've broken is a good way to get them to understand where they messed up, whether you like it or not. Um, it's a good way for them to go, okay, I'm writing this down now. Oh, I realise, okay, that's why I did, and it's a big fuck up. Um, so we're not intentionally making it hard to be unbanned. Which is just a way of stopping the morons getting through, basically. Yeah, it's just, it's basically what we look for when someone gets banned. Um, they come in and in their ban appeal, they're already showing showing that they understand why we've banned them. They're showing a little bit of remorse and understanding again, and can explain to us um, why they fucked up and how they're going to change it. I mean, if they can do all that, then we probably won't even ask more questions by it. We'll be like, okay, dude, thanks a lot for admitting what you've done wrong. Um, we'll give you another chance. Uh, we're going to sit you out for seven days, though. So um, I'll unban you in seven days' time. Something along them lines, or we'll drop the ban and put a temp ban on them. Um, so, I mean, that's the sort of thing that we try and do. Um, rather than just, dude, fuck off, you're never coming back again. I mean, there is some cases that that happens. You've seen it come up in the past, um, where people have been permabanned because they've just been genuinely toxic. So, yeah, but it doesn't happen very often. What I'm trying. To say. In those cases, Zav, where they're asking their friends, if that's the case and they haven't realised where they're fucked up, then they're going to come back in and break the same rule again and get permabanned, like. I know we do give people a lot of chances, and perhaps we are a bit too kind on that front, but again, I, I don't feel like there's any harm in letting someone try and prove themselves, you know, as a better person. Um, then again, we're not shy from banning people permanently. I mean, there's a couple of high-profile members that have been banned permanently in the last couple of weeks, the last few weeks, sorry, um, and, and they're gone for good. We're not, we're not having them back. So we aren't afraid to perm ban people, but we aren't afraid to let people come back in and try and prove themselves once more. So it's it's a slippery slope. I mean, I can I can absolutely understand where a player would hate to see someone that's been banned multiple times and they come back and they're still breaking the same rules. I get it, completely understand. But at the same time, you know, it, it it's one of those things where we aren't afraid to perm ban people if they're obviously not willing to make those changes and improve themselves. But at the same time, letting people prove that they can change is an important factor. And there's a lot of people in the community that have been banned multiple times before and have come back and kept keep on improving themselves. So it's kind of kind of our stance on the bans, really. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, we, I don't even want to go here. Body cam. Well, we know my stance on that subject. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, oh fuck, job's fucked <laughs> Job's fucked Yeah, I mean, Cyril, Cyril's got Very strong um, Opinions On the I mean, I've got strong opinions on the fact Cops perhaps should be able to use them But I can completely understand Why Weedham and Ash and that shouted at me When I said the shit um, Because it's not fair On the player base Because I mean, at the minute The um, phone, you can't walk around and record on it. I mean, if you could, then I'd accept that um, and say, well, why, why should a Sib be able to use body cam? Because um, they can just pull out the phone and they can walk around and record, but I mean, you can't at the minute. You have to be stationary. To 
so I sort of accepted that from him. Tops IRL, yeah, you would be wearing a body cam. Um, but again, it's not really um adding to the it's not really enhancing the RP. I mean that was what we got to at the end. It would in some in instances in some cases used correctly. Um but we have far more cases where it's been used incorrectly and just creates drama of people walking around like huh, I'm gonna go to the government now with this because I've got it all on foot I've got it all on GoPro. I've got it all on my body cam. I mean it it sometimes actually verges on the breaking character. Um That's exactly what that. it is. So I mean um I don't know if we've actually pushed it yet, um but we will be pushing it. A rule to say that there is no body cams um at all in the server. I mean you can still stream, you can still YouTube, you can still record. Um by all means please do all of them. I mean we need as much publicity in that as we can. Put put the uh put the footage out there. Um but don't be using it in game to try and incriminate. I mean if you need to report someone for something they've done, then by all means use that footage. I mean, we really, we really appreciate when people provide us with footage of something that's gone wrong. I mean, it helps us no end. Um, but Twitch clips of thirty seconds doesn't really help us. Um, the better thing to do there would be link a vod. If you can link a vod, um, then and tell us where in the vod, like a timestamp. Um, that's much better. I mean, we can go back, we can have a look at the whole situation. If there's a multiple VOD, so you know, uh, I don't know, let's take uh, Shark Quick, he's streaming. He's come up against something. Cyril was there as well. Um, it was someone else involved, but both of them camera angles would have got it. I mean, that gives us two perspectives. The more perspectives you get, the better. I mean, the more we can understand about the situation. So, definitely, if you're going to report someone, try and give us more than one. More than one thing and try and give us a longer clip like a VOD timestamp um with a VOD rather than a thirty second clip that like shows exactly how guilty they are but doesn't give us any of the lead up to it. It's it's all the lead up and that that we need to know. Context. Yeah. It yeah, it, if anything, like if you're cutting out bits of a clip, it makes you look more guilty. Um because you're like trying to provide a very oh this is blatantly what happened but you're you're missing out and as as Sarah rightly said you're missing out the context of the situation and it looks bad on you if you're cutting out a specific part that proves your point rather than the lead up to it and and the whole sort of aftermath really so just just provide what clips you have and what footage you have and don't modify it in any way just so we have all that we need yeah pretty simple um. Voice changers, that's interesting. Um, I I wouldn't want to tell anyone they couldn't use a voice changer. Um, I don't see how they ruin RP. Um, the only thing for me that ruins RP, actually, is, um, funny enough, when you're actually RPing with someone and you're hearing your own voice bouncing back off the fucking mic, that absolutely drives me crazy. Um, yeah, sometimes... Sometimes they're ear piercing, but I mean that's when you tell someone that you know they're shouting or using character to tell them to turn the fucking thing down. There's ways to do it. There's ways and means to tell them to turn stuff down with break without breaking character and say you just turn your shit down. I would say it looks more bad on the individuals having issues with voice changes because well not necessarily what I mean by that is if it's affecting the way you handle a situation, um then you know, that's on you. Like, it's it's one of those things. Not everyone can change their voice. Um, not everyone can modify it. And if they want to play a oh, character, that requires them to change their voice. Thank you very much, Marius. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if if there's if there's people that can't change their voice and want to play someone else, um, then you know who are we to say no? Um, but if if people are obviously extremely high pitched and are breaking mm. your ears or whatever have you. Then say it in character, say, well, you're way too loud. Or, well, you're breaking my ears, or you're making my ears bleed, you know? There's so many different ways that you could get the point across that their voices are way too high-pitched. And again, it comes out to, you know, if you want, you can DM them out of game and say, yo, by the way, dude, you know, I was love the RP that we had. Your voice is a bit too high, though. Could you turn it down? Because you're kind of ruining my immersion a bit. That's fine. 
absolutely fine. Do that. No one's gonna have a go at you. Um, but at the, the same at the same time, just don't let it affect you too much. I mean, yeah, I get it can be kind of annoying come across someone, um, and they're like, hey, you know, not not everyone. Wow. I know. I'm, I'm a skilled yeah. voice actor. I mean, not everyone has yeah. the capacity to change their voice. So. No, but I mean. What what the biggest issue for me, for example, is is my accent and my bad English, right? So, <laughs> uh, people are always like, "You sure?" What? I, I mean, sometimes I noticed. have problems with like, yeah, Life. that thing. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> no, but people will always recognize me because no matter what I do, people will always recognize my voice and my accent. And I mean, my Widom voice is a bit weird, but like, I can. Only use that voice. There's nothing else uh, I can do except for like old shitty voice, but then my fucking throat hurts so much. But that's fine. I mean, I can't talk like this, but then the next day I can't speak anymore. You know? Yeah. I mean, uh, who is Weedem? Cupcake? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, wow. Come on, Cupcake. I play Stardew Valley, not fuck you. <laughs> Um, cheers, Magic. Cheers for the bit, Simon. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, voice changes, yes, they they can can ruin some things, but like I said, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not sure what you can't keep up with, but I mean, the rules are the rules. They're uh, like black and fucking white. Um, I don't see anything in the rules that say don't use a fucking voice changer. Um, we're simply expressing our opinions of what we feel. Um, we're not necessarily stating that it's a rule. Um, body cams at the minute aren't a rule because it hasn't been announced to everyone. But we're telling you it will be announced. Um, because it's been decided, it's been all prepared. I mean, Ash has got the written side of it all done. We just need to push it now. Um, we were let. We were waiting for Cyril to finish throwing his straw. He did. Fuck you all. He like did. You, you threw it. it. Got I ruined. mean, it got ruined by a couple of people not <laughs> it doing did. it proper. I would <laughs> say, I would say that look, if it was done and people weren't abusing it, then absolutely, I think it could have potentially enhanced RP. But there was very few and far between, and it caused more issues than it solved, unfortunately. Um, in my ideal world, absolutely, bring it to court and maybe a good lawyer could argue it and whatnot. But the cause of the fact that, to some extent, we don't have those people that are kind of that creative, that they, they, they can't use it in an RP sense. So it's a shame, but we made a decision for the whole player base so it can be more neutral and hasn't massively changed from being out of game. Yeah, Tuck, uh, <laughs> we, we sort of nailed it earlier, but I'll like just briefly summarise the whole um stuff for you i mean hopefully it doesn't kick but um yeah we said um for me personally if you're taken down to the jail cell 100 percent that you should be able to just uh quickly um you need to inform the officer first so you need to inform me that you want to make a call to a lawyer and um, then you can be rp'd you can go be taken to the phone number can be dialed you can be given a phone conversation from your side needs to be in game and in discord if you're doing it in voice if you're just dropping a message in there, just drop a message in and ask for a lawyer. Um, but yeah. Um, if the cops are telling you they'll only wait five minutes, tell them to fuck off. Um, for, for lack of better words. Tell them you'll sit in the cell for 10 or 15 minutes. Be like, there's one coming, I'll just sit here and wait. Um, I mean, it's not going to hurt you. I mean, it could be saving your ass. Um, not going to jail for fucking an hour. I mean, you might sit there for 15 minutes instead. Um, what if us cops just have to go? Just leave them there? Yeah, I mean, as long as they're in the cells and you've fed and watered them, um, then, yeah, leave them there. Either leave them there or just tell them that they'll be jailed until the lawyer gets there and then you'll bring them back from jail. I mean, but if you do that, don't put a fucking fine on. Um, just put them in jail. With no fine, and then when the lawyer gets there, true to your word, bring them back. But we'll we'll cover that within the within the BCSO training. Um, we'll try and push more direction on that. We'll bang our heads together, me and Cyril and Ash. We'll go 
out at each other. <coughs> Just for because uh, that's what transparent happens. purposes, I have now pushed that uh, body cam rolling. So. Awesome, awesome. So it's now active. Brilliant. Yeah, I never even meant to do it the other day, so. <laughs> I just did that 48 hour stream. Fuck you. And we might 24 hour again at some point. Um, but yeah. We have enough points to redeem it, right? <laughs> I mean, if I fucking make it active, I mean, I'm sure someone does. Um, yeah, I, I know for a fact I do, so. <laughs> yeah. Lawyers are good, they just got uh, found him out of the out of going to jail. Brilliant, see? It does work. There are lawyers in the city, they are working. Um, we need more lawyers though, guys, so please go and fucking apply. Come be a lawyer. Um, the the application, right, the application is tailored to be fucking hard. Um, but the application itself isn't a right or wrong. There is right and wrong answers. Um, but, like, me or Cyril will grab you afterwards. Um, and we'll grab, we'll grab you, we'll talk to you, and we'll be like, um, all right. So argue, argue your point. Um, and I mean, if you're if you put a good enough argument across and we feel that it was strong, then we'll accept you absolutely that you'll you'll come into the into the lawyer profession and you'll serve well. You'll maybe turn a few cases your way. You'll lose a few. Um, we're not looking for someone that, I mean, a hundred percent knows the well we do we want people that 100 percent know the law um or can find where they need to look to find that loophole that's get their client out of the hole and magic's put down there he's got all answers for app but it doesn't matter i'll yeah. still win um, i mean you can have all the answers for the app um, <laughs> <laughs> you'll even have the answer for the secret question i mean i think magic worked on it with uh me and bc it was um when we Obviously split away from this server for a little while, so yeah. Uh, yeah, we did. We did talk about how lawyers would be paid. Get it off your fucking client. That was pretty much how I said it earlier. I mean, lawyers will be paid their normal fee and they'll have to make their own company um, and gain their own money. That I mean, people need to stop being so tight when they're about to go to jail. They need to put their hand in the pocket and give a lawyer 5k because they're probably going to jail and paying more on a ticket. I well, have to put you in your deputies at minute, which also needs to go on training agenda, are stripping people before they're about to send them to jail. Yeah, that, so way before certain things that needs to be just as they've been proved guilty, unless at a bank yep. robbery. I mean, that's a different story altogether. Yeah. Um, but that's robberies. We'll we'll cover that with, um, we'll cover that with the BC. So we're in the training next week, uh, which should be broadcast hopefully by me. I'm sure Sir will broadcast all of them as well. Um, I know Ryder does if he's kicking around. He comes and streams them as well. Yeah. I, I think we've nailed all your questions. Has anyone got anything else? Anyone? <laughs> Didn't have enough to pay Cyril, so he got you more charges. That sounds about right for him. Turtles, yeah, oh, I do oh, no, I remember that. I remember that. He actually <laughs> came up to me, told me he ain't got money. But because I tell all my clients they're going to be 100% honest with me, I turned around and went, yeah, he did it. You fucking murdered him. I'm seeing you later. Bye. Yeah, Magic made Sir lose his first case. That's why he's only um, unbeaten defense lawyer now. Yep. Because <laughs> he lost his prosecution case. That's why he bitches whenever we make him prosecution for him. Oh no, I do it on my cop now for prosecution. Yeah, because yeah, he isn't undefeated altogether. Um, Magic actually influenced the whole fucking jury in a case that was clear cut, should have gone the other way. Um, but somehow managed to talk the whole jury around, talk about having a bent jury. Um, but it happens. So, yeah. Can we get a bicycle? Um, you put a uniform on. Yeah. Uh, sex worker job. Um, yeah, sure. Go out and RP one. Um, we ain't putting a scripted job in for it. Although we are get the sex for. Was more. Lurk autobahn. I mean, it just Amiga lulls out of nowhere. 
Uh, it should actually put the thing up, but. Um, yeah, I know. I know you're joking, man. I, I, I can see you picking the questions out from like the last one. We fucking raged at. Um, I think I think we are all concluded. Unless anyone's got anything else burning that they really want to know. Um, my shoe size, size nine. I'm size eleven. I've got big thing pants. Size eleven. Fucking massive. Fruit salad job. <laughs> You're thinking. Come on then, tech man. You're not gonna have long to think. Tech man. <laughs> tech. 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 Uh, you got anything yet? Have a look around. See if we got anyone streaming. So. Oh man, it's tech now, alright? Oh, right, yeah, sorry, I blanked out then. Who's streaming on the server? Let's see. <laughs> see if uh, we got anyone. We've got Green Dragon. Oh, well, he's. Never mind. Uh, Kev. No, what? No, we don't. No, no one's no. streaming on the server. Alright. So, we have people streaming in the USA RP community, but. Oh, now, nah, I already server. streamed one. You had my one stream per month. You're not having another one. I know, yeah, man. Ask the page stream he did today, man. He streamed today. <laughs> it was a good three hour stream as well. Fuck it, I so don't Wasn't my usual like 59 minutes and like, sorry guys, can't be fucked. Someone else streamed, you get a hefty 26 viewers. So, uh, I guess. Heather, Heather. I guess no one's going for it. Heather, you stream sometimes, right? Alright, guys, well, I feel like we're. I feel like we're good. Um, just about nicely there. So yeah, it was a waste of a sub. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, I mean, I cannot confirm or deny this information. They still need my uh, the Ash stream, the Ash the Ash subscriber. Ash subscriber. All right, guys. So uh, yeah, I like to. Thank you all for coming along. I'd like to thank Ash, Cyril, Weedham, um, for hey. all participating. I mean, we only had to tell Weedham to shut up a couple of times. Oh, Being man. Stupid. <laughs> but, I mean, we expect not much. Um, hopefully, you've all noticed that, like, we've been able to respond to the chat a bit quicker. To try and, well, I've been able to try the new low latency stuff tonight. Um, you should have about a two-second delay, so... Hopefully they've been sort of responding to chat not quicker than nine or ten seconds later. That's pretty good. Okay. Um if we're all done, I'm gonna I gotta raid Dallas. He's um he's a friend of Tim's. My boy sort of Dallas. Too. Yeah. Um he's one of the Twitch staff. He'll be um very he's a very nice guy to be fair. Um play some weird stuff, but um yeah, let's drop in and say hi to Dallas and um, but he's, oh, dark too. he's playing Soul and Sanctuary too. What a fantastic game! He's he's a nice guy, guys. Just say say hi to him, and uh, I'll see you all in the server as soon as we can. Thanks a lot for coming along to the uh, Q and A tonight. Been amazing as always. Do -do -do. Come on, racing! Oh, we got some knives in there, glitter remotes. Okay, bye. All right, we're clear. All right, so I went up this way. Go over each of these. Cross. Uh, no, it's fun. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah, raid. fun is definitely the so word much. that I would Welcome, use everybody, who's tonight. coming along with Jamie. My name's Dallas. Uh, I play games and code, um, more toward the games these days, so, um, oh, Ash, thank you so much. Two months, I appreciate that. Wow. You were, you interrupted my spiel, though. No, Jamie's um, mod and no, Tim's mod. I appreciate all y'all being here. <laughs> Hello, RPP.